what's up guys this is hardik here so today with me i have my google pixel and on my pixel i'm running the latest android version that is android p uh so we'll quickly go into system and we'll go into about phone and as you can see the android version here is android p and if i tap on it uh we have the usual android p easter egg so that is like nothing new in that but it was there uh, in the previous build as well so one weird thing you'll notice right away is on the uh, home screen which is the nav bar so now we don't have the nav bar instead we have a gesture button which i'll be talking about later but yeah basically uh, we'll just check out what all is new in android p and what else has improved so basically going into settings again uh, if we go into battery uh as you can see we have the adaptive battery option right over here and it says that uh it limits the battery for apps that you don't use often so yeah it will basically limit the battery for the unused apps and uh, yeah it tends to save battery uh then going back uh, if you go into display uh we have the adaptive brightness here which is new as well uh so it usually will or it is like an improved version of the previous adaptive brightness which will basically change your screen brightness automatically according to your environment and activities and stuff like that so yeah another good thing <laughs> right over here uh then if we go back uh let's see what else we have so yeah if we go into system and if we go into the gestures uh as you can see we have the swipe up on home button so because of this uh, we have the gesture button right over here so yeah so let's see uh, let's say if you're into the settings and if you want to go home just have to do is tap on the button and it'll go home you'll have to swipe up on it to get to the recent so this is like the recent menu there we go as you can see swipe up and going to recent uh the back button is still present over here so that will go back and again long press on it for the google assistant so there we, there we go so that was the assistant itself uh then if we scroll a little bit harder it will go into the app drawer as you can see or else if you like scroll up once and then if you scroll up again it will go into the app drawer itself so yeah i just flashed the image and just install few of my apps uh right over here so i've been using it for around half an hour or so also another thing regarding the gesture bar is if you go into the recent and if we slide the gesture bar uh, to left or to right it will actually scroll through your recent apps so that is a good thing as well uh so yeah again swipe on the right for the google now page so that is still present over here so now also if you tap on the home screen uh the settings will appear as so if you tap anywhere as you can see the settings will pop up from that particular point itself so we have the wallpapers widgets and home screen settings uh the pixel launcher is basically the same nothing has changed like literally nothing has changed uh we have the google right over here search bar and we have the search over here as well so yeah also another thing here is as you can see the uh quick toggles uh, are changed now it is uh the page menu itself which was there in the 8.0 build uh so yeah that is a good thing also the uh, status bar or the bar about quick toggles is now redesigned and it is made much more cleaner but the only thing i don't like here is you have to swipe twice for the settings so if you want to go to the settings you have to uh, swipe once and then swipe again to go into settings so that is the thing i don't like basically uh, another thing is that if you disable the wifi real quick as you can see the lte sign uh, actually overlaps or sort of overlaps the vibrate button but i don't actually like the way it spells lte like uh, on the previous builds on the 8.0 or you and below that uh, the lte sign used to be on the above the network reception right so that is changed and i am not a huge fan of it so yeah that is the thing i think google should work on the status bar more rather than other things like if the status bar is clean the phone looks really clean so yeah that is the thing so i mean for now that's pretty much it nothing has changed 
majorly and this is the beta 1 i think or the dev preview number 2 so yeah more is yet to come and this is gonna be i think 4 to 5 betas if i'm not wrong uh, and then there'll be the final version so yeah stay tuned for all the developer previews or betas whatever that is stay tuned for that and i'll be making videos on them really really soon as well as soon as they get out so yeah for now that's been it guys thank you for watching this video if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys in my next one